Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial session. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install WordPress locally on Windows 11 using WAM server. So this will help you run um, WordPress offline so you don't have to be connected to the internet before you can at least test some things, themes and plugins on WordPress. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to do is to download the server. So to download the server, we'll just search for WAM server, the name of the server on Google. Click on enter. So you're going to click on the first result. So just click on this. So on this page, the next thing you're going to do is to click on download. So now um, you select or you download the WAM server for your system. So we have 64 bit, you have 32 bit. So you download the one that fits your system. Um, so for me, mine is 64 bit. So I'll just click on this. So ignore all the contents, this French content, just click on you can download it directly. So just click on this, right? It's very faint, but just click on this. So let's wait for it. Um, all right, now it's asking me where I want to so just click on save. Um, anyway, you want to add it. So if you notice below, I've canceled so many times. So I've already downloaded mine. So I'll just click on it. So just to start the, the setup. So click on yes. Click on OK, select your language, I accept, click on Next, Next. Um, so this is where you want all your file, um, all your files to go to um, the folder where all your files will go to um, when, you used, when you want to create a website offline using WordPress. So it's very important to know and know your file path or where the, way the folder will be stored. So for me, this is fine, but for you, you can select any folder. The most important thing is you remember the folder you've selected. So I'll click next. So yeah, it's going to show you the list of the default installation. Um, so it's going to install WAMP Manager, PHP 5.6, 6.40, then the rest. Um, I think this is fine for running WordPress. Um, if you want to backdate or you want to, for some reasons, use PHP 7.2.3 Pro, you can just click on it, but for me, I don't need it so so just um i think the default is fine so just click on next click on next click on install so let's wait for it to install all right it's going to ask us if we want to use um internet explorer as our default browser you said no just say no um, notepad that exe will be used that okay this is fine click on yes all right now just click on open that's fine so let's just wait for it to finalize the installation so once it's done just click on next click on finish now that we're done um, downloading our, um, our server the next thing is for us to download wordpress and to download WordPress, we go to wordpress.org. So just click on get WordPress. So download. So it's going to ask me how to save WordPress. So let's wait for it to finish downloading. All right, my download is done. So the next thing is for me to go to the folder where it's been uh, where it is. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay, let me just copy this. Uh, copy. Go to the folder where I installed my WAM server. So this is the folder, WAM64. So this is where I installed my WAM server. Click on www. Now I'm going to paste the WordPress file here. So the next thing is I'm going to extract this. So extract here. So let's wait for it. Now, before we do any other thing, we have to create a database for our WordPress website. So to do that, I'll come down here, click on it. So, oh, sorry, before I do that, I have to launch WAM server. Sorry. So I'll launch WAM server, search for it and click on WAM server 64, click on yes. So let's wait for it to load. loading 
So if you click on the stacks bin now, can you see it? You see this W icon, the green one, that shows that our WAM service is running fine. So let's click on it. So the next thing we are going to do is to click on PHP Admin. And you can select the, any version you want to use. For me, I'll just use the recent version. So it's going to open this in uh, Microsoft Edge, which is fine. So the username is root. So the password is nothing. So just click on go. So we have to create a new database. So for me, I'm going to be creating my own database. And the name I'm going to just click on new. So I'm just going to give it any name. For me, I'm going to call it um, mm, test website. But it's very important to remember the name of the database. Very, very important. Click on create. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go back to the, our folder, which is here, WAMS64WW. And I'm going to change this, the name of the, I'm going to change the default name, WordPress, to something I can easily remember, the name of the website. So for me, um, I can call this my test web and click on enter. So click on it then you see all the files here. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go to go to your browser, click on localhost slash the name of your folder, please. It's very important. The name of your folder, my test web. Um, click on enter. So it's going to show you the WordPress installation process. So click on continue, select the language. Let's go, database name. So for this, um, we already have our database. So let me just get the name. The name of my database test website. So the username is root. So yeah, just leave the way, the rest, um, let's delete this. Leave the rest the way it is. Um, just click on submit. So yeah, you see, okay. All right, Sparky, okay, click on run the installation. So site title to my test website. Website, username, my test, password, good website, one, two. So remember your username and password, email, admin, all right, so discourage, yeah. So the next thing you're going to do is to click on install WordPress. So enter your login details, my test, good website, one, two. Yeah, sorry. Good website one two all right so we are, we are the dashboard so we've successfully installed wordpress offline using one server on windows 11. so now you can install plugins um you can run wordpress offline you don't have to be connected to the internet to run wordpress but to download the plugins um you still have to be connected to the to the internet but let's say you've, um, for example, um, you already have the zip file of the plugin, so you don't have to be connected to install the plugins and teams. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you love this video, um, kindly subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.